Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. You are presently watching Lesson A, Learning Multiplication with Arrays. Now you've probably clicked on this button to bring up this video and or you are looking at the directions listed here. Now what we've done is we've provided for you different ways to look at an array to better or best illustrate how an array compares to multiplication. Now problems 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is one way to look at it. Problem 6, 7, and 8 is another and 9, 10, and 11 is a third way. Now, in problem 1, let's look at this one first. You'll notice that we have rows and columns, and we have a place provided for you to place your multiplication. Okay, first of all, rows go sideways. So we have 1, 2 rows, and columns go up and down. 1, 2, 3, 4. So how many rows do we have? Two. How many columns do we have? Four. And our multiplication will be two times four equals eight. Okay, this is what you're going to do for sections, the first sections, one through five. However, in problems six, seven, and eight, we want you to look at this a little bit differently. We would like to have you color in, if you will, 5 times 2 for 6, 8 times 3 for 7, and 8 times 10 for 8. And in problem 9, just the opposite. We've already colored it in for you, but we'd like for you to place the multiplication sentence for 9, 10, and 11. Okay, if you would please pause the video, complete the lesson, then continue playing the video and we will provide you with the answer. If you would, please pause the video now. Thank you. Okay, let's see how well we did. Problem number two. We have four rows, four columns, and our sentence is four times four is equal to 16. Here's row one, two, three, four, Column 1, 2, 3, 4. Problem number 3. We have 3 rows and we have 6 columns. So 3 times 6 is 18. Here's row 1, 2, 3. And we have columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Problem number 4. We have 4 rows, 8 columns, and our multiplication sentence is 4 times 8 is 32. So here's row 1, 2, 3, 4, column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Problem 5. We have 5 rows, 10 columns, and our sentence is 5 times 10 equals 50. Okay, so here's row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have 10 columns. Trust me on that one. Okay, now hopefully you got that part right. Let's look at the second part. Okay, problems 6, 7, and 8. We're looking at arrays from multiplication sentences a little bit differently. Okay, so here we have 5 rows times 2. So, if you color these incorrectly, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 2. And the answer there is 10. Now, in this one, we're going to color in 8 rows and 3 columns. So, if you did that correctly, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 rows and 3 columns. So, 3 times 8 is, there's 24 of those. Now, the last one, we have 8 rows times 10 columns. So if you color that in, you have all of this. So 8 times 10 is, oops, 80. Okay, hopefully you've got that part correct. Now let's look at the next one. 
Okay, the last way we're going to look at an array for multiplication is this one, 9, 10, and 11. Now, we have how many rows here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and how many columns? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we should add 6 times 5 is equal to 30. Now for number 10, how many rows? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have 10 columns. So 5 times 10 is equal to 50. Now to present this number a different way, how many rows do we have? 10. And how many columns? 5. So we have 10 times 5 is 50. All right. Well, hopefully you have done very well on this lesson, and we really like to thank you for watching our video. That's all, folks.